today I'm going to be taking you through a few of the Farm for Air Show static display aircrafts of 2012. To begin with, we have the A380. Its role was a commercial double deck jetliner which was built in multinational countries, manufactured by Airbus, and first flight was in 2005. This is what it looks like. Then we have the C295, which is a military transport plane made in Spain, which looks like this. That was first flown on the, in November 1997. And then we have the A2R72, which is a light passenger plane that was first flown in 1988. Here's a picture of it. Then we also have one of my personal favourites, the Vulcan Avro, which is a fighter jet and it was designed by Avro. Here's a picture of it during static display of Farm for Air Show. Now we have also a Jetstream, which is a regional airliner aircraft manufactured by British Aerospace. First flight was in 1980, and this is what it looks like. Then we have the Rotillion Jet Team, which were in static and in the air, which are a specialist performance team, and this is what their aircraft look like. Then we have the Super Hercules refueler, which was designed by the United States and mainly made for air refueling and occasionally military transport. Then we have the Dasset Falcon 7X, which looks like this, which is a business jet. Then we have the Dasset Falcon 2000, which is also a business jet, which also looks like this. As you can see, the Dasset Falcon 7X and Dasset Falcon 2000 look fairly similar. Then we have the II-76 Strategic Airlifter made in Russia, which looks like this. This first flight was in March 1971. Then we have the Yak-130, which was flown and did not do supersonic. It is a light fighter and trainer, which was made in Rus Russia and looks like this. However, it is a lot smaller than it appears in the picture. Then we have the F-16 Falcon Fighter. It was first flown in 1974 and looks like this. Then we have the one, the only Red Arrows display team, which, of course, as we all know, look like this. An interesting fact about the Red Arrows is there is actually only nine pilots and 91 support workers. Then we have the T-50 Golden Eagle, which is a train slash fighter, which was built in Korea and looks like this. Then we have the C-17 Globemaster, which looks like this, is also is an airlifter and also used for tactical fights. Then we have the F-15 fighter, which is a fighter slash trainer, which was built by Mitsubishi and its first flight was in 1980, looking like this. Then we have the F-16 fighter, which was built in the United States by Lockheed Martin and was built first flown in 1974. As you may be able to tell, the F-15 F and F-16 and the next plane I'm about to show you all look fairly similar. This is the F-18, which is a carrier-based fighter, which was built in the United States by Boeing Defence, and was first flown in 1995, which looks like this. Then we have my personal favourite, which is a V-22 Osprey Bell Boeing, used for transport and limited combat, which is the first aircraft to be an aeroplane cross helicopter. If you wish for a list of aircrafts which did air displays, please watch Farnborough Air Display information, or if you wish to watch half an hour worth of the air display, please type in Farnborough Air Display, and we are the seventh link. Thank you very much. If you wish for any more information, please comment the question and I'm sure I will be able to answer. Thanks.